Hi everyone, welcome back to Lifestyle Love. This video is a very different video. It's actually a, a vlog of a 30 day minimalism challenge that I did. Now the 30 day minimalism challenge is where you throw out one thing on day one, two things on day two, three things on day three, and all the way up until day 30. And um, I think in total you end up throwing around, getting rid of, I should say, about 495 things. And you can either throw them away, donate them, or use them up. Now, for me, um, I've done this before, um, but I've never actually stopped and documented and journaled um, the process. And that's how I've been able to do this for you guys in this, I guess, my first real vlog. Now, I've just made um, a list of the, some of the things that I've experienced in doing this because I really hope it inspires you to have a go at doing this yourself because it's been quite a cathartic experience and I think I've learned a lot about myself and um, where my value system is. But one thing, um, one of the biggest things is my the energy of my house is, um, is very calm and tranquil. I mean, I think it's quite calm and tranquil normally, but it's on a, another deeper level. Um, it just it feels so much more peaceful um, and calm and just tr tranquil and sort of there's a, a different, a better energy to the house after doing this. The other thing um, in doing this 30 day challenge is it has forced me to become more organized and to actually stop and tidy things up. For example, in my, my vlog, you'll see I found all these sets of keys all over the house. Um, in doing this, I was then able to group all the keys together and put them in one spot, in you know, in one container. Um, and tidying up drawers so when I open them, I can see everything that's inside them and it's neatly organized. And I think when you have um, a neatly organized home, you just, you have a, a greater sense of being in control and I definitely think it improves, you know, your level of happiness and, and well-being. Um, the other valuable thing that I got from this experience is, is it's made me stop and question what I really value. Um, in looking at the products I use, you know, for example, my beauty products or even my cleaning products, it made me sort of go realize, okay, I actually use a lot of that product, so I really like it. But I've got all these, like, you know, half used or quarter used um, other products which I just didn't value. And um, in it's really made me sort of stop and actually, uh, um, it's increased my level of appreciation to the products that I actually, you know, use on a regular basis and, and see the value of those. Um, the other thing, um, in doing this 30 day challenges it's been quite an emotional experience you know that I found you know old letters um, I found um, you know I, I at times I really questioned myself at times I wanted to cheat during the 30 day challenge which I didn't do um, but it was and then I sort of questioned whether I was being too hard on myself which made me sort of reflect on other parts of my life and um, it was definitely a cathartic experience but I you know I've I feel really good from doing it um, also, it made me aware of how much wastage um, I go through, which is not something I'm proud of. Um, and um, I think that, you know, leads me back to that whole thing of becoming aware of what I really value. So hopefully going forward, I'm going to stop wasting things and it'd be obviously stop wasting money, but I'll stop wasting, you know, products and, and getting caught into the trap of consumerism. Um, and, you know, it's, it, I now sort of now you know, when I buy something, I think, hang on, do I really want this in my home? Where is it going to sit in my home? Um, because right now all my cupboards and drawers and cabinets look so neat and tidy and just there's a feeling of pride now when I open, you know, particularly my, my bathroom cabinet because everything that I need and want is there. And um, the other thing is um, I'm going to start making, well, I've already started, um, making a very conscious effort to use what focus on using one product at a time because as, you, as you'll see through my vlog you know there were uh, I was quite confronting because I realized for example I had like numerous packets of, of pasta that were open um, when I only really need one pas packet of pasta going at a time I don't need five and and body lotions or body oils I had all these body oils going at the same time I should just stop and focus on using up one product at a time rather than having five different ones on the go and I think obviously that will help me also you know save money so I got all the way through to day 30 and, you know, I felt really, I felt really proud of myself and, um, and I had this inkling that I could still keep going and I almost still secretly wanted to keep going. And, um, of course I finished and I found even more things that I actually can get rid of. So I, th I think from the, doing this experience, I'm actually going to apply at this general principle in my, in my home, um, going forward to stop, you know, to reduce the amount of clutter I have in my life because it just doesn't serve any good to me. 
Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you enjoy watching this vlog. It's something very different. You'll notice that I hate making my bed because I, in most of my vlogs um, uh, that I've journaled, I don't think that my bed is made once. Um, and um, let me know what you think. Um, please give me your feedback and comments and, and, um, and don't forget you can follow me on Instagram at sugarmama.tv and like us on Facebook. But hope you enjoy. My first diary log for the 30 day minimalism game. Last night I had some time to myself and so I finally um, stopped procrastinating and kickstarted this um, challenge. So I managed to get through days one to four last night which meant I threw out ten things. And it's funny, I had been procrastinating for so long thinking up any and every excuse under the sun as to why I should just put this, starting this off. And um, because I regularly throw things out because I kind of apply a, a minimalism approach in my life, I actually didn't think I had many things to, to get rid of and I thought I'd really struggle. But anyway, last night I got rid of ten things, it was actually really quick and easy and it I actually felt really good and the silly thing is because I'm doing the thousand dollar challenge I actually needed to do this anyway so I think I put about five things on eBay last night which I've been wanting to do for ages and it didn't take me long at all so I'm like why was I procrastinating for so long over doing this I should have just done it I was building it up in my head to be a bigger thing that it really needed to be anyway to make sure that I um, you know those bags of the things that I do need to sort of get rid of or put into the charity bin. I've put them at the front door of my house so that I make sure I put them in my car and I will put deposit them into a charity bin um, hopefully today. Um, tonight I'm going to keep going with this project because I actually feel um, really good and I feel really uplifted and energetic. So hopefully after Rocket goes to sleep I'm going to try and get days five to eight done. I'm about to start a, a new project um, where I'm going to rebuild my capsule wardrobe um, which I'm really excited about so I'm hoping I'll discover new things in my wardrobe that I can um, that I don't value love or appreciate anymore which I can then you know contribute towards this 30-day game last night um, I didn't end up starting my capsule wardrobe because I was exhausted because it took a few hours to get Rocco to sleep last night but I managed to get through days five six seven and eight so I managed to throw out a lot of things and it was actually um, I didn't really throw out any clothes but I actually the probably the area where I found the most amount of things to throw out was my fridge and pantry finding um, foods that I don't really ingredients I don't cook with anymore or meals that I don't make and um, food like condiments that have been sitting there that I never used that actually had gone off embarrassingly a while ago that I hadn't realized so my fridge now looks so neat and organized a little bit bare and um, it actually looks really healthy because it's just fresh food that's sort of left in the in the, on the shelves so it feels really good opening up the fridge and um, the other things I found I found it quite confronting because I'd get through say five things really quickly and then I'd hit a bit of a block and I couldn't progress more but then I'd sort of force myself to keep going and find like the, the next six things and all of a sudden I'd have a breakthrough and find like six or seven things to, to, to get rid of or, or give away. Um, so and it was you got this like a rush of energy when you found those things that you could get rid of and things that I've been looking at every day um, it wasn't until I actually stopped and questioned that thing I actually realized that like, this dish I have near my bedside table I always look at and I don't even really like it but it's always just been there and I've never thought about getting rid of it or giving it away but because of this channel this game I should say the 30-day game I actually looked at it and realized that um, I don't like it at all it was today I was working on this capsule wardrobe project and um, I'm a regular color of clothes like I, I don't really have a huge amount of clothes um, whenever people come to my house my girlfriends like ask to borrow something and they look at my wardrobe they always say oh and where are the rest of your clothes and I always have to laugh and say no, no, no this is my wardrobe I don't have them stored anywhere else so I'm not I actually always thought I didn't have that many clothes and I'm working on a, a capsule wardrobe project which I'm really excited about and that will be in a separate video shortly um, but um, so when I was doing this I didn't think I'd have many clothes to throw out anyway I managed to get through I achieved um, days 9 10 and 11 I finished off um, day 11 this morning um, and the reason why I couldn't film in the morning is because 
Rocco slept in, but he slept in in my bed, so I couldn't film in here this morning. But um, it's funny, in doing this uh, game, um, it's also quite emotional as well, because it's really forcing me to stop and look at things, and it's almost quite emotionally confronting, because I have, for example, one drawer I've opened probably about seven or eight times looking at it, and every time I look at the drawer, I'm like, no, there's nothing in there I can throw out. But yesterday, I actually stopped and breathed, and move things around and actually discovered there was a lot of stuff that I needed to get rid of and some of which included um, like letters to myself and notes and lists um, and you know things to try and cheer me up or things that I was worried about or stressed about and reading them and seeing how much my life has changed and the, th the things that were stressing me at the time that really were not really that a big deal and I can look back and go why was I so stressed about so um, it's been kind of nice because it's been Emotion confronting because I'm thinking there must be things that I um, I need to stop and actually deal with and process emotionally and kind of reflect it on the stuff that I think there's physically there's nothing to throw out but there actually is stuff to throw out um, at like reflecting my emotions and issues maybe and then um, the other thing being that uh, you know stopping actually um, realizing I guess emotionally how far I've come in my life and the things that I've achieved so far and and really what the big picture in life is all about. Saturday morning here and yesterday I didn't morning, get morning. to do a diary uh, post yeah. on the 30 day game because Rocco threw up all through my bed yesterday morning so I was kind of busy cleaning that up but yesterday I had amazing breakthrough with the game um, I managed to get through days um, 12, 13 and 14 and three items into um, day 15 and um, I hit a few oh, oh. okay you want to get past oh. Oh, sorry um, I managed to hit get through um, hit through jackpots like and a, th a few breakthroughs um, and like things I kept on looking at and didn't even stop and question but then because I was so determined to get at least a couple of things done a day because I want to get through this 30 day challenge I actually found things that I again like this, the, the dish oh monkey um, Mama. <laughs> um, like the dish that I had been looking at but realized I didn't like I found like all these old faded um, uh, cloth napkins and um, placemats which I hadn't used for ages but just don't know why I hadn't throw them out because they were stained and faded and old so you know I had these amazing breakthroughs that then spurred me to keep going and onto the you know the next day and to find the next lot of things that I just didn't eat and it felt so good um, seeing them and oh my gosh <laughs> um, seeing them um, I was realizing I don't need them and then seeing the space that freed up in my cupboards from from deciding I actually don't need and value them anymore um, I also found more packets of half opened or half eaten pasta so um, and even with my like beauty products I would I'm quite strict and I only buy things once I'm close to finishing up the existing product and I use body oils I love body oils and I realized I actually have five bottles of body oil going and that's just crazy so what I've re I realized that so I'm actually making a really conscious effort to use one focus on using one body oil bottle up at a time rather than using all five at the same time that's just crazy and a waste of space I also found I have four different sunscreens um, uh, so again same principle I'm gonna really focus on trying to use one at a one up at a time um, and one thing I'm really I'm realizing from doing this challenge is it's actually forcing me to become more organized um, and tidy things up for example I found a few spare sets of keys that really should be sitting in the spare key jar so you know I was able to put them back away and group them together in their order that they should be so that felt really good and again that spurred me to keep going and inspired me and motivated me to you know keep progressing through <laughs> And, um, uh, and enjoy this game. Um, it's, this whole thing is is really building momentum. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I actually didn't think I'd be able... Monkey, I'll be there in a second! Um, I didn't think I would be able to get through this um, challenge, but as I said, I'm up to day... Today will be day 15. I'm already three items into it, so I've only got to find 12 more things. 
and um, it's Saturday, I'm gonna hang out with Rock all day, so I probably won't get time to do too much more, but I will, I'm sure I will find the, the remaining 12 things for the day, but definitely really enjoying it. If you're watching this, I hope you feel inspired to have a go at doing this as well, because it's actually quite fun. Anyway, ciao for now, and gotta go be <laughs> with Rocco. I'll speak to you soon, bye. The weekend I accomplished um, day 15. I had a pretty busy weekend hanging out with Rocco and painting um, the new office and working so I had to kind of spread day 15 off across about three days and um, I found the process really organic. I didn't have to like put too much effort into um, like releasing 15 items from my life. Um, for example, um, I found myself naturally using up um, some of my doubling up of ingredients and for example, my, my neighbour even turned up asking to borrow some pasta. So I was able to offer her one of my six opened packets of, um, of pasta so that, you know, naturally culled some. Um, again, more things I noticed in the house where I just didn't value things. I just naturally not even thinking, just picked them up and put them in the bin or gave them away to friends. So um, day 15 went really easily and um, naturally and organically. Um, so today I'm going to try and um, continue on pushing through with this game and do 16 and 17 maybe. There's a lot of things to get rid of but um, I'm really enjoying it and I'm really liking the space um, that's opened up and um, and the feeling of just tidiness and um, peace and serenity with just less stuff like surrounded by me and seeing that I only everything that I'm touching and grabbing is actually of really good value and use to me and also with my bathroom products I'm you know I think also because I'm now so much more aware of the fact that I have like all these bottles of like say for example my body oils I'm actually stopping and taking a conscious effort to focus on just using that one bottle of oil and actually using it up before I work on to the next rather than having five different body oils all going at the same time. Okay, so I have done days 16, 17, and 18, and I'm not gonna lie, I really wanted to cheat, but I haven't. It's really hard, I'm slowing down, and I'm way, like I'm trying to use my products up, and they're taking a long time to use up. And I wander around the house at night time, um, trying to find things that I, can get rid of or don't use and I'm running out of things so I think that's a good thing that I'm running out of things because uh, what I'm leaving in my home is stuff that I use value love and appreciate but I'm really struggling and it's also like I found the other day a whole pile of business cards and I didn't need the business cards anymore because they're all saved in my outlook anyway and I was was there were probably maybe 20 cards I was like do I count that as one thing to throw away or do I count that as 20 things to throw away and so, because they were all neatly stacked in one little pile, I count them as one. But I'm really questioning how much pressure I put on myself and um, whether I need to be as hard on myself sometimes. Anyway, it's getting much, much harder. So, I 16, 17, 18, I now need to do 19, 20. I don't know how I'm going to make it today, 30. But I'm going to keep trying and hopefully I'll hit some more jackpots because I definitely, definitely need them. My home is going to be empty very soon. 19 was pretty much impossible. I was walking around the house in circles trying to find 19 things that I could either give away, throw away, or use up. And it was driving me nuts. So I decided to include my car as part of the 30 day challenge. And thanks to Rocco and being a typical two year old and a messy two year old, I managed to find um, 49 things to throw away. I went, I got through days 19 and 20 just by going through my car. I had so much stuff that I'd been driving around with in the boot of my car and things that Rocco had left or collected or discarded in the backseat of the car that I had no idea was hidden. It was really quite gross. Anyway, so that was really good. I got through days 19 and 20, which um, felt good. And then I hit another little jackpot. I found um, on my balcony all this stuff that had been dumped that I had completely forgot about. And so I was able to power through days 21, 22, and 23, which was great. And one of the most exciting things actually that happened is in cleaning up all this stuff and getting rid of it, I actually found a box 
of all my old motivational books from when I was in my 20s and it was so good because it was like finding old friends and I've um, put I've got all the books ready put aside I'm not getting rid of them I'm actually gonna reread them make lots of notes and I'm gonna do a whole series of like motivational videos for you guys um, next year so um, 2016 is going to be a very um, successful and fulfilling one for you hopefully um, so that look it felt really good my house is so much more organized I feel so much more I feel just good this has been such a great challenge to do I'm really enjoying it no idea oh I've already started throwing out things today this morning already so I'm up to days 24 now so um, I will report back okay have a good day Ciao. I'm on like a cleaning high and also one other thing I, just, I discovered I had all these say, these cleaning products like you know all these different um, uh, like surface wipes and things like that so I decided okay I'm gonna give my house a massive clean and use these products up so I even sugar soaked my walls which is amazing so they look so clean I didn't realize how dirty they got until you look really up close and personal at them so I was able to use up my cleaning products and like count those one thing or two things off the list which was great I also even sealed um, my garden tiles because I had this floor sealant that was just sitting there and hadn't been used so I was like okay well I'm gonna use it and seal them and they look really good too so anyway I'm, I'm getting a really clean organized house which feels so calming and energizing I have done just done <laughs> days 24 and 25 and I am getting so frustrated by this challenge because I'm running out of things to get rid of so all that's left is for me to be ruthless and that is exactly what I'm doing and if I I'm being so strict now and um, it is getting tough so I've got five days left and then I'm done and I can't wait and I just don't know how I'm gonna make it to day 30 but I am persevering and also because I've put my house on Airbnb over the New Year's is um, I've had to do a huge cleanup of the house um, for the people that are going to be renting it and that's also forced me to have a look at um, the stuff I've got and things I was able to throw out things like old pillowcases where the they don't match with the sheets or the fitted sheets anymore so I just spread stuff it and, and um, uh, put them in the charity bin so I don't know how this is so hard I'm really struggling and it is so hot today in Sydney so it's making me even more frustrated day 25 was um, kindly taken care of by Giuseppe uh, we went for a road trip to Berry with um, Rocco and Sophia and um, Giuseppe obviously and um, in the car on the way um, Giuseppe had a, a little explosion and if you don't know who Giuseppe is Giuseppe is my very big chocolate Labrador and let's just say it was a large explosion and anything that um, was um, experienced by Giuseppe was thrown in the bin and I pretty much had to get a very very um, expensive car detail done so I'm pretty sure I threw out 25 things if not more out of the car and it's one of those things where all I could do was laugh and I'd also like to make a very special thank you today 25 to my two amazing girlfriends Camille and Georgie who not only helped me clean my car before taking it to get detailed but also washed Giuseppe down who was um, quite unwell um, it was definitely um, washing a dog that um, especially the size of my dog um, who had had that sort of experience and was covered in what he was covered um, is definitely a trust test of true authentic friendship so thank you Georgie and Camille for helping me clean up that mess so day 25 was pretty much taken care of by Giuseppe um, a lot of stuff was thrown out of my car and I never want to think about that experience ever again and on that note I was going to point out I'm really glad I have a life account because I didn't have to get upset about having to pay $250 to get my car detailed because that's life that happens that's part of having pets I'm absolutely crazy about my dogs um, and in those situations all you can do is laugh and we laughed hysterically I think I almost wet myself laughing anyway now I've done day just finished day 26 and I'm also starting day 27 today I am being so aggressive I, I'm stopping and asking myself how many things do I really need like I looked at all my tea towels today and realized 
I have more tea towels than I actually need, so I was able to cull a few things. Um, I found a couple of toys of Rocco's that he definitely doesn't play with um, and don't actually match the parts anymore, so I was able to throw those things out. Um, like some stuff I've been looking at and staring at, not actually consciously making decisions about whether I need it or not, like weird stuff gone and I've also noticed I've got a council um, cleanup day so there's some more things I'm gonna um, be a bit more aggressive and larger things that I'm gonna throw out rather than lots of little things so days 25 and 6 done working on days 27 today I should hopefully have that done by the end of the day I'm um, getting closer and closer to all finishing this project which is great because it's taking up a lot of time and energy but one thing I've noticed is I've in doing this I'm actually having to be really strict and conscious about new things coming into the house we've just had Christmas time Rocco got lots of amazing gifts and um, I just don't want you know after I've like decluttered my life and house I don't want new things flowing in that don't match those those values that I uphold which are things that I love value appreciate and enjoy so and use so yeah I've got to be I'm being very conscious about what I let flow back in okay so it's Sunday morning and I have just done days 28 and 29 I got a note in my letterbox saying there's a council cleanup happening next weekend. So I was again continued to be ruthless and have a whole pile of stuff parked at the back of my house ready to um, put on the street for next weekend. Which means I've got only day 30 left and then I've finished. And um, I cannot wait because this is just, it would feel good to have it over and done with and, um, and, and just enjoy having a lighter, freer, less cluttered house. Um, one thing I've noticed is, um, it's funny, some of my products in my bathroom that I don't really value, I was just thinking, oh, I'll just use them up um, and then throw them out. Um, you know, they take some of them are taking a lot longer to use up than I expected and I'm starting to get frustrated and use them a lot more generously to try and use them up. And then I was thinking, well, if I'm treating the products like this, this way, I should probably just chuck it out because clearly I don't value that product. So some of my products I've actually just thrown out sort of a quarter, you uh, you know, half used or a third used products because I don't actually like them anyway, so I'm, I don't know why I'm holding on to them. I also threw out... Um, a pair of my favorite um, uh, little sneakers that I wear like with jeans and, and skirts and shorts on the weekend and they were falling apart and I but I absolutely love them um, but and they had paint all over them like they were ruined and they were dirty but I because I love them so much I was just really holding on to them and I looked at them and saw the holes that were coming through and how they were literally falling apart because I wear them so much and I just had to say suck it up put it in the bin I, of course I can replace those and buy some new ones, but like just let it go, stop holding on. I finished the 30 day challenge and it feels really good. I I finished it, I'm done. Like I've, I've managed to get through the whole entire thing and my house feels, uh, it's look, it's incredibly tidy and, and clean and it has a really um, peaceful um, serenity about it. It's um, I'm really, I'm really proud of doing. Of actually, like committing to this and going through the whole process from start, middle to the end. Um, I feel like I completed a task, and that feels good. And I actually feel really proud of myself for doing this, and I love that I've been able to share and journal this with you the whole way through. Um, funnily enough, the the la doing this last 30 day thing, I thought it'd be really hard because obviously it's the biggest number of them all, and I thought I'd really struggle. But it was actually the most organic and. Um, uh, therapeutic process because I just literally saw things and went no nah, get rid of no nah, put in the bin no nah, give away um, it was it was like I was almost in a, in a very um, meditative zone of, of culling things and and actually stopping and identifying things that I just I'd be looking at blankly but didn't actually appreciate um, so this has been a really amazing project I'm really proud of myself from getting all the way through it um, the very very last um, thing was actually quite hard finding that number 30 to get rid of um, was really hard and that actually was the only one that made me stop and kind of had me wandering around in circles again but um, you know it ended up actually weirdly being um, a bra that actually had gone funny in the wash or the um, padding had gone out of shape and I don't know why I was holding on to it it didn't work under t-shirts so anyway that was the last thing that went um, into the bin and um, I feel good and I to be honest there are probably more things I could potentially get rid of 
Um, and I think I will be really conscious going forward of um, what I bring into my home and when it's when I'm ready to discard things and let them go out of my life. So I'm going to try and be really conscious to keep my house in the state that it currently is. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed following along with this. Um, it's been so good to, to do this and if I do it again, well let me know if you want me to do it again. Um, I think I'll need some time though before I do this again, otherwise I'll be living in a plain empty shell. <laughs> anyway, I will catch you on my next lifestyle love video, but ciao for now and I hope you enjoyed this. Bye!